Hi kids, welcome back. Our world is such an amazing place, isn't it? There are so many different types of animals and plants and life. In British Columbia, there are trees that are at least 800 years old, and those aren't even the oldest trees in the world. Did you know that an ostrich can run faster than a horse? And that butterflies taste with their feet? And there are approximately 960,000 kilometers of blood vessels in the human body. That's more than two times around the whole earth. In Genesis, we read that God created all of these amazing people and places and creatures. Do you know the very first name for God in the Bible? We actually meet God in the very first sentence of the very first chapter of the very first book in the Bible. Genesis 1.1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the Bible actually wasn't originally written in English, which you might already know. The Old Testament was first written in Hebrew, mostly, and the New Testament is mostly written in Greek. This is important for us to know because sometimes the words are not exactly the same from Hebrew or Greek into English. If you speak another language, you may have found this yourself that the way that you put words together in a different language or the words for one thing in one language are not the same as they are in English. When we read Genesis, the word for God in Hebrew is much more complicated than just God, which is what we read in English. The word we read in Hebrew is Elohim. And the name for God that we are studying today is Elohim. Can you say that with me? Elohim. When we see this name for God, we are reminded that God is a strong creator. And the name Elohim is used more than 2,000 times through the Bible. It is the second most common name for God in the Bible. And it is most often used when the Bible is talking about God being powerful and how he made everything. Can you think of some things that God has created? If you call them out, perhaps a grown-up at home can put them in the chat as we continue on with the kids' moment. In Genesis, we read that God created the world and then began to fill it with good and wonderful things. God created light and separated it from darkness. The sky was put above and the waters were gathered together so that dry land appeared. Plants and trees grew up out of the earth, each with their own seed or fruit or flower. The sun, the moon, and the stars were placed in the sky and separated day from night. The seas, the skies, and the land were filled with animals. And finally, God created people. And God, Elohim, called it all good. Now, as people created by this strong creator and created to be like this strong creator, we also can create. We can't make something out of nothing like God can, but we can use different materials to make something. So this week, get creative. Build with blocks or Legos. Make an obstacle course or a maze. Create something from a cardboard box. Knit, stitch, paint, draw, or bake. There are so many ways to be creative, and I've just shared a few examples. Do what makes you feel creative. Elohim, our strong creator God, created you. And he has made you exactly as you are meant to be. And he has called you awesomely and wonderfully made. Throughout this week, marvel at creation around you. Look at all the ways God has made you. And be amazed at the creation of the strong creator, Elohim who loves you and has wonderful plans for you. That's it for me this week, kids. See you next time. 